Hello everybody, Panda again. Uh, this time it's going to be on our server. So we're standing on the top of our main hub here. And uh, got our mob farm down there and a bunch of different builds down here. So this is the server spawn right over there, that little tower. And there's signs and information in there for new players. We got uh, quite a bit here, so let's go ahead and jump off here and go for a fly. little village we have over here and uh, got all our wool storage in here our two wool farms there's a museum and uh, some main hub area right here got this really nice defense wall built around our main hub with uh, it's pretty co cool little gates here so let's go ahead and show you one of those so we have these gates two on each side to uh, allow players to go out and travel. We got a open close button here on the outside. And um, so let's go ahead and go take a look here inside the main hub. We have these four towers. You can get to the top. And uh, it's a great place to launch off with your Elytra. So there's our wood farm. Or sorry, there's our melon, sugar cane, pumpkin farm. Uh, we only have one active because it's enough to feed the entire server. And we have another one here that's ready to go if we need it. Got our wheat farm. Villagers automatically take care of all that so we don't have to mess with it. And everything gets stored in our silo out here. We got a cooked chicken farm. There's a little villager right there. He does all the planting, picking. For us. Here's one silo. I did a tutorial on this. You can find this on my YouTube channel. And um, with the same unloading system that we did the tutorial on. So uh, I was going to do a tutorial on this wheat farm that is automatic. So I do not have to. As you can see, there's no way for us to get in there. Well, we can jump over this, but. Yeah, the villager does all the work. See, there he is right now. And uh, there's a minecart that runs underneath it to collect everything for us. Uh, let's move along. This is our iron farm. See, they're talking to us. Here's our coal farm to run our big furnace that we have up there, which I will be doing a tutorial on eventually. But we just take oak wood, throw it in there, and it creates charcoal for us. So apparently I got a little creeper hanging out in here. Uh, here's our potion room. So we do all our potions in there. Here's our oak farm. It's automatic as well. You just got to place down the plant and then it will automatically grow them for us. And it grows them pretty quickly because it has bone meal and these dispensers. And then, you know, you just chop them down. So we got quite a bit of little extra space in here still for some future builds that we're working on and planning at the moment and uh, so let's go ahead and go take a look inside here so this is the actual station this is where you can select your destinations um, got a couple mines in here the couple sites that we've already planned out but haven't gotten to quite yet uh, we got a TNT cannon range that is about a 10 minute rail ride to get out there, a house out in the desert. Um, this track just goes off into an unexplored area. We really haven't done too much out there, but we got many other destinations here available for us to uh, get going. So Buddy Bird Town, that's actually my wife. That was that really colorful town you could see from when we were up on the top there. Uh, we got wool farms over there and a wool storage, so if you need wool, that's where you need to go. Uh, got my beach house and my panda island. It's my my personal area, so everybody kind of stays out of there. But um, a fun town, which is roller coasters, and uh, got an easy rider mob farm, which is a pretty cool place to go. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look upstairs. I'm going to put in an elevator here, I don't know, if, I haven't created the tutorial yet, but it's on my redstone test world, 
and uh, I think I'm going to move it over here to make this a elevator that comes up but it's pretty cool because you can ride your horses as you can see I got my my panda horse right over here so he's my buddy stay off of him or you'll be kicked off the server just saying and uh, this is that auto cart unloading system hidden behind the wall here that I recently showed on my YouTube channel and as well as Planet Minecraft so here's the storage area for the server we have you know all your basic building blocks your food basic stuff over there and all our redstone gadgets in there it also has our own furnace system right there which it's actually 15 furnaces so it it's a cooker let's go ahead and shut this door I have this door just to basically keep mobs for sure from getting in there because it's too lit up in here for them to spawn um, our mob farm it's up above it's that big circle there's there's the kill floor right there uh, there's another silo same basically same thing I did the tutorial on except without the unloader instead this feeds through the storage uh, we got our another hub through there uh, here's our end portal to our Anderman farm uh, the enchantment tables over here and we got these four tracks on northeast south and west corners to still be expanded and added to here's our explored map so far this is what we have explored so you can see we're right there in that big build so yeah that's a quick look at that I'm not gonna really run off to all the other destinations because uh, I'm trying to keep this short and sweet so here's our different tracks where we can get off to go to our destinations and uh, yeah that's here we got some drop spots here that you can just drop items that you don't want and they'll go s get stored in that silo that's out here um yep there's the farm just dropping off some melons and pumpkins right there but uh yeah that's pretty much it this wall we're pr almost complete uh, there's a couple sections that haven't been quite finished on this overhang that we have right here and uh, here's a bunch of carts that kind of fell down from when we were testing that uh, long distance item transport system that showcased on planet minecraft and my youtube channel as well and they kind of stacked up and there were so many there that I just have left them so but uh, let's go ahead and go fly again so, yeah, I mean, this is the main area, and there's, this is a large biome map, if you couldn't tell already. Uh, this is that buddy bird town I was talking about. He, she likes building with wool, so it's pretty colorful. We got a fishing area right there, and, um, whoop, ran into a tree. That's our redstone museum, still working on filling that in with basic circuitry, and you know, for those who join the server who do not necessarily know redstone very well, they can pop in there and learn a few things or two. So, uh, out of rocket, so pretty much I'm going to end this as soon as I land. Bam! How's that for a good ending?